Hey guys, hoping all is well with everybody. In this video, we're going to be going over Chapter 2 Geology Exam Review, but we're going over the essay response question. The essay response question that we're looking at is compare and contrast fixed base systems, base isolated systems, and energy dissipating devices. So, to start, let's recap a little the vocabulary and their definitions. So a fixed base system is going to be what uh, this setup is for picture A. It's going to be a structure or building that is placed strictly in on bedrock. It's bolted down to bedrock. Okay. An isolated base system is a structure or building that is the new modern day kind of construction that is where a building is structured on what we call isolates. Uh, dampers or energy dissipating devices and their goal is to absorb seismic activity from earthquakes so it's to take in a lot of and uh, absorb and take in a lot of the energy that would otherwise really damage a building or structure so let's take a look at what happens here between the two situations I have building A which is on the bedrock layer of the earth and then I have the aftermath. And then down here I have an isolated base system and then the aftermath. So what's going to happen in a fixed base system is all of the seismic energy is going to go strictly from the bedrock layer right into the building. Okay, So the building is going to take all of that energy and um, kind of manipulation and it's going to be deformed and damaged very heavily. Think about it this way. Think about a, the law of conservation of energy. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can be transferred, but it has to go somewhere. It can't be just poof magic, it's gone. So when this energy goes into the building, it's going to deform it and it's going to kind of damage the building. So what we see here in the aftermath is that this now deformed building is on a slant as opposed to its normal structure which was standing upright. Okay. Now let's look at what happens when we introduce these dampers, energy dissipating devices as well as um, uh, isolates. So we have building B here and they're put it's put on isolates. What happens now is when these isolates take the seismic energy instead of the building it's going to take all and absorb the damage majority of it and not much is going to go into the building. So even though in the aftermath the isolates have taken the damage and they're manipulated and deformed, the building is still intact and that's the main difference that we're looking at. That in fixed base systems there's going to be more damage and deformity to the building because there's no there's nothing to absorb the seismic energy before it goes into the building. Whereas with isolated base systems, you have those isolates or dampers that kind of decrease the amount of seismic energy that goes directly into the building by absorbing it with those isolates. Okay? And that's basically what we're doing with the compare uh, and contrasting. So they're both kind of ideas that want to absorb seismic energy, but this way is much more beneficial. Okay, but that is the answer to our essay response. If you guys have any questions about it, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. I'd be more than happy to answer those questions. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and be safe.